Hi YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, uh, and today I have some grave news regarding the uh, Globalist Agenda 21 for severe population reduction. Uh, one of the leading uh, hypotheses on how that's going to be enacted is uh, large-scale, uh, genetically hybridized, uh, superintelligent animals. Um, and I came across some direct evidence of that recently in my greenhouse. I'm going to share that video evidence with you right now. Um, this may be disturbing to you. <gasps> River, look, the trap's opening up. Oh my goodness, it's huge! It's gigantic! Oh, is it gonna come out? Is it gonna come out? Oh, look out! That was a real rat that I caught in my greenhouse. Uh, the, the scale may have been changed for dramatic emphasis, but that was the rat, and I believe that's the second time that I caught that rat. Um, rats are interesting creatures when you're sort of in an adversarial relationship with them and you're trying to catch them. They're very intelligent, they can be tricky, uh, and I believe I've learned a lot, and I thought it would be useful to share that information with you. First off, why is this pertaining to SHTF and collapse at all? It's a rat. You know, what's the big deal? Well, um, using these types of, of traps, um, a rat can be turned into food during SHGF uh, very easily. Um, during, with a, like a lot of the other kill traps, you don't know what kind of guts and things are gonna get like busted and everything. This catches the rat whole and full and you can terminate it in any way you feel ethical. Um, I personally am a vegetarian right now. That wouldn't, that wouldn't continue to be the case during an SHGF situation, but at the moment, I'm not into eating animals, including rats, so I catch and release. But during an SHGF situation, this is sort of a, uh, a food gathering device. Um, but it's only a food gathering device if you can get an animal to walk in here and have the doors closed behind it. And that can be tricky with, with rats in particular, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd share what I'd learned with you. Uh, the first time that I caught this rat was about two months ago, and uh, it took me weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, and why was that? Uh, the reason was because I would open up the trap and I'd appropriately set these in the right place and everything. And the rat would come in and be very apprehensive, I would think, grab the food and run out before the doors could close. Um, I have no idea how it actually did it. <laughs> They're very in intelligent animals. I don't know, maybe they, they put a little stick under here and propped it and then took the stick with them later. I don't know how they were doing it. But they, they were nervous around the trap and it's appropriate. It's a trap. They should be nervous. Um, so, uh, so I had to get around that somehow. I, I'd heard a lot of people talk about like kind of tying the doors up and things so that the animal, you know, would get comfortable with it. So me being lazy as I generally am, I, I didn't end up tying anything up or using any, you know, wire or anything. I just took the trap and I set it on its side, so they could walk in and it wouldn't wouldn't spring anything. Uh, they get comfortable with that for about a week and then, <laughs> you know, turned it back into a trap. And within uh, two days, caught the animal. Uh, at that point, again, if it was at SHTF, Tiawaki, however you pronounce that or whatever, you know, I could be like, hmm, there's, there's a delicious lunch. For getting rid of them now, because I'm a vegetarian and I don't want to eat a rat, um, even under difficult circumstances, it wouldn't be my preferred uh, meal. Uh, but to get rid of it, uh, what I did last time was I took this and I drove about two miles away uh, and brought it to a place with a bunch of boulders and there was some water and everything. It seemed like heaven for rats. I left it there. I was later told by people that maybe two miles wasn't enough, which I thought was kind of crazy. It's just, it's a rat. You know, two miles seems pretty far. Uh, and it was fine for about two months. There was no rat. And then just about a week ago, it appeared in my greenhouse again. The reason I think it was the same rat was because it was immediately digging in exactly the same spots where the other one had been. So it just makes me think there's a good chance that it was the same rat. may not have been. Uh, I, I, I'm not certain, but it seems like maybe it came back. So this time I drove it, I drove it about five miles away um, and uh, released it in the video clip you saw. Um, and uh, I might have made a little bit of a mistake um, when I uh, released it just this morning. Um, I put the trap down and stood behind it with, with River here so it would run away from us. Put a, used a little stick to, uh, to push this down. It ran out the front. As you saw, it ran right past the camera, right towards my car, and disappeared under my car, and may or may not have come out on the other side. So I'm thinking it may have hitched a ride 
in my vehicle to come back home with me. So that's another thing that I learned is um, if you're uh, trying to get it to release it and steer it in a certain direction, try to steer it away from your car also because it may just hitch a ride right back to where, where it came from. So that's, a, that's another little lesson learned. But um, the important thing is put it on the side, get it comfortable. So just going in and out, then can get it ready to be sprung as a trap and drive them pretty far away. We'll see how five miles works, although I don't know. Maybe I drove it right home after that. So that's it. What are your thoughts on that? Do you have any ideas about how to, um, you know, what's the word? Uh, what's a kind of a non-cruel way of killing a rat that's in a cage like that if you did want to eat it in a post-collapse sort of thing? Again, like I said, the best thing I can think of is drowning. I can't really think of anything else that's not personally dangerous to you, like trying to hold it. I don't know. I don't really have any good ideas on that. In the comments below, please let me know if you have any ideas um, that don't include something horrifying. Drowning's horrifying, though. See, that's why I'm vegetarian. It's just all this killing business. It's just so bloody. You know what I'm saying? My, uh, my beans and rice, they never scream when I kill them. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching.